Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here with sadly my last clothing haul of the summer. This is gonna be it for the summer. I am gonna come back. All my bottoms are with Poshmark pants, jeans, and capris. And I'm gonna do a Poshmark video and show y'all some outfits I've gotten from there, like a budget video. I have the cutest clothes from there. So anyway, all my bottoms are Poshmark as normal. It's all tops. Most of them are on sale except the one I have on. This is the Splendid Strap Top from Nordstrom. It is not on sale yet, but the White House Black Market Top is, and two from Banana Republic. They both are, so if you want them, get on there fast. I'm getting this up as quick as they came in so that y'all can, they'll have some sizes left. So I'm just going to jump right into this. I'm also putting some makeup that I enjoyed today on the end of this because I cannot go all week without talking. I mean, I did a little bit of makeup talk on Monday, but not enough. So I'm going to tack on some makeup at the end. So going to jump right in. Okay, this is the Boucle, Boucle, B-O-U-C-L-E sleeveless top from Banana Republic. And um, it's got a tiny little ruffle right here and a v-neck. I have it on with a bandeau, so it kind of comes across right there just because I like that look, but it's not too deep. And um, it's like a um, kind of a knobby material. And I put it on with Poshmark, um, Capri's, they're probably Gap, and Doc Martens, and a belt. And it is super comfortable, y'all. It doesn't bind anywhere. At Banana Republic, I always order down a size, so this is an extra small. All this stuff is on sale. So, um, I, you know, I hope they have the size that you need. And um, yeah, super comfortable. Okay, this is the cold shoulder ruffle top, I believe, from White House Black Market. It's the only White House Black Market linked down there. Um, this is super comfortable, um, easy just to throw on for something, you know, kind of dressy. I dressed it down with Poshmark American Eagle stretchy jeans and Doc Martens. I love this has a, um, how it has a flat band right here, so it lays real nice across your chest. I will tell you, though, it is a little bit thin, so I wear a bandeau top. You can probably see it. A bandeau top over a strapless um, underneath it, and then I kind of keep it blousy. But it is a little bit on the thinner side. It's not lined. And then the back. Um, yeah, I really think I'm going to enjoy this top. Okay, this is the high neck striped, striped top from Banana Republic. And this one is, I will tell y'all, this feels much more structured because it's lined on the top. It's lined on the top. It zips on the side and um, has a little hook closure right here. This is also the perfect opportunity for me to show you why I ordered down a size in Banana Republic. It's the armholes. If you get their stuff um, too big, you're gonna, this is where it's gonna show is right here. So I did wear it with a bandeau. I have it on with skinny jeans from Poshmark. These are probably Abercrombie, Poshmark, and flip flops, and it's super comfortable, y'all. I don't have many of those. And then there's the back. This would be cute with black um, skinny jeans and riding boots would be precious with this. Okay, this is the Splendid Strapped Top from Nordstrom. Really like it. It is super comfortable. I have it on with high-waisted jeans and Doc Martens. It looks nice, but you're not overdressed. It's like a t-shirt material. Does not bind anywhere. Falls right at high-waisted jeans. There's the back. Yeah, they're, you know, I can lift up, they're still down. And um, I've got this linked down below. Okay, some things that I'm really enjoying right now. And some of these will be new to, to you from me. I have not mentioned some of these before. The Kenra Volume Spray. Love this. This holds real well. I would call it a firm hold. A real firm hold. It, it is a, anything that says volume on it, y'all know I'm all in on that. Then, I um, heard about this from JD. JD, you're going to think I'm stalking you, but I love this. I got this from JD, Dr. Jart Plus Sunscreen, because I had said that I didn't want to give it my it CC cream because of the SPF. Y'all, this allows me to wear whatever foundation I want, and I still love my IT CC, but when I want to use just my Tarte Amazonian 
or one I haven't even mentioned because I really wasn't going to give up the sunscreen is the Laura Mercier. I haven't given this a good run yet because um, I didn't have a sunscreen, but now I do. And didn't realize how much I left this until this morning. I was looking for it and thought I left it in Abilene at, the, at my mom's. I was like, she's going to have to go mail that to me. I love this. It's rich. Does not disturb my makeup. Love it. Rich, but not too thick. It's greatness. I love it. Thank you, JD. Um, and then Dream Cushion Maybelline. When I was in Walgreens and picked up that Kenra, I also picked this up. I had never used a cushion, y'all. I like the package. I like how it, hold on, how it opens. That's fun. And then I got my KC Republic brush and kind of dipped it probably too hard because when I started putting that on, y'all, <laughs> I got a really, it did my whole face with just one dip. Very nice coverage. It's what I have on right now. Now, will this take the place of my other loves? My It and my Amazonian? No, I love those. But we'll see how this wears. I'll let y'all know. And it definitely is going to be in the rotation because I loved it. I loved the application, and it's wearing great through the day. I'm going to keep using this, and I'll let y'all know how I'm liking it. That's a first impression for sure. And I also, this morning, got back out my MAC Prep and Prime because I don't remember what channel I was on, but they were saying this was one of the, this like their go-to, one of their favorites, MAC Prep and Prime. So I thought, I need to get that back out. I didn't get much sleep last night. My dark circles were a little darker. So I use my MAC Prep and Prime, and I already loved it, but I forget it. It's that extra step that if you're not used to it, you can forget it. So I used this, and then I blended it out with this Morphe brush, the M461. I'll link it below. This was perfect because it's kind of soft and not very dense. So put the Prep and Prime just on my dark circles, kind of blended it out real soft with this. My shape tape didn't even have much work to do after that. This is so great. I just have to get used to adding that step. Really enjoyed that this morning. Really cleaned it up under my eyes. Okay, and then I've had this for a while. And for the life of me, I can't remember who was saying how great this was. The Makeup Forever Step 1 Mattifying. I think this was Puffin's wife. Love her channel too. The Mattifying Primer. And... I'm kind of dryish, but my T-zone gets real shiny, especially when I'm making a video. So after she mentioned this, I got this back out. <sighs> I love this. I forget to put on primers. I Since I started using this, I don't forget to put this on. This is great. Um, it's thick like that, doesn't take a whole lot, and then you just go over the areas that are shiny. The Makeup Forever, step one. Again, I've had this, I bet, for six months. Heard, heard about it on a YouTube channel back in probably October of last year. Yeah, really love that. Then um, when I was traveling this weekend, wanted to show y'all this. I saw this on Stephanie's channel. I'll link her. I don't know her last name. Color cleaner. I did a search for color switch. This is a brush cleaner. Does everybody know about this but me? Because I'm pretty excited about it. When I was traveling this weekend, I couldn't find my brush holder to take with me, so I just had to dump them all in the bottom of a bag. Well, you're putting your eyeshadow brushes with your powder brushes. That can't be good. So I cleaned them all off with this. It's a little firm sponge down there. You wipe them off. I kind of press and wipe. Clean brush. Between colors for traveling. Color switch on Amazon. I'll link it. I probably paid next to nothing for this. I want to say six bucks. And it was really great this weekend when I was traveling. Then also two, I may have shown you these, but I'm going to show them again because I loved them this morning. It's two crease brushes. One is softer, so it's great for blending. The other one is a little bit firmer, and it really gets in there, and it kind of blends it, but firmer. I love both of these Morphe brushes, and I will link both of these. It's a Firmer crease brush and a softer crease brush for blending out, which is always a challenge for me. Love these. I think I'm about to haul me some more of these crease brushes, so I'll have extras of those. Then I'm also loving this pointed foundation brush from Real Techniques. It's probably sold in a kit. I'm going to tell you how I use this because nothing cleans my upper eyelid up like this does. I get my stick foundation in fair or white, 
go over the top of it. And then this eyebrow has a spot. I don't know if it's patchy eyebrow or what, but it just doesn't look clean. This is the only thing that cleans that up. Yeah, I'll just go right over the top of my eyebrow and clean that up. I love this for cleaning up like upper eyelid messes, especially when I have a real soft eyeshadow. So don't, I don't think I've ever told y'all about this, but I love it. This is like the last thing I do on my eyes to clean, you know, to clean up around them. And then I'm um, also, when I did the what's in my drawer when I first started my channel, I didn't like these, but I'm loving them now. And it is the Urban Decay 24-7 waterline, waterline Liners. And I want to tell you how I use these. Over my upper lash line, and they go on real easy up there, so I have to be real careful, but I kind of push through my eyelashes a little bit to get kind of a semi waterline line going. Then on the inner, I'll put the NARS Madison Avenue or Via Veneta, Veneto. I heard about the Via Veneta from Melissa55 a long time ago and had ordered these and liked them but just never really used them. And I love loving the waterline liners because um, when I do it with the Urban Decay, I have transfer onto the bottom for an accidental smoky eye that really is fabulous. Wore that all weekend for the wedding. And also for that wedding this weekend, um, I thought this was appropriate. Y'all, that was a beautiful wedding. I used the Modern Renaissance Anastasia palette all weekend just because it's romantic and beautiful and really enjoyed that so much this weekend that I wore it again today and really enjoy this. I always enjoy the Modern Renaissance and I do get fallout with this, but I just wipe it off with the Neutrogena cloth and it's worth it. Okay, also loving this little miniature beauty blender. What I'm using it for is greatness because the MAC Soft Ochre and Painterly, I hate these little pots, y'all. I hate them. I hated them until I got this beauty blender because when you have nails, getting that out, I don't like to get it out with a brush because I feel like it leaves brush strokes. I just hadn't found the right utensil to get that out until this. This is so perfect. Just dip that in there and then use it to put it on my eyelid. This is going to allow me to continue to use my MAC Painterly and Soft Ochre, and I love this. I loved it before. It was just hard to get out of that pot. This makes it easy. Love this. Now, next time I will order the off-brand because um, I just was trying to give my shape tape a, a good try, and I thought, well, I'm going to get the Beauty Blender, so maybe I can use it. But if you have problems getting that out, get you a miniature little spoon. Okay, and I think that does it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and um, if you have any questions or comments, put those down there. So I will talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a great day. Bye.